Hey, so uh, this class we're going to be looking over how to approach any algebra question to begin with and a few examples to go along with it. So in general, uh, we know that the approach we take to solve any normal math problem without algebra is bad math. You would start off with brackets and then exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Uh, the six letters here stand for some uh, type of math operation that we have to do. Uh, when we're trying to solve any algebra problem, we're going to do the exact opposite. So instead of going from left to right, we're going to go from right to left. Uh, that's because you can think of it as we are unboxing something. Uh, if x has a lot of numbers and things around it, we want to unbox and get rid of all these numbers until we reach to the x. Um, that's how you can think of it to make it easier. But yeah, in general, we want to work from right to left because we're doing the opposite operations. Uh, and so let's go over some examples. Uh, question number one. Let's say this said 3x plus 2 equals 7. So first, uh, we have to remember to do the opposite operation. So since there is addition and multiplication, and we have to do addition first, let's get rid of this addition by subtracting 2 on both sides. So a couple things here before I move on. Uh, we subtract 2 because the equation says add 2. So plus 2 minus 2 is 0. So once again, we want to get rid of this. So we always do the opposite operation. That's why it's subtracting, and that's why it's a 2. And then you might ask why we do it to both sides. Uh, well, it's because if you do something to one side of the equation, you have to do it to the other side. Because for example, let's do a very, very basic example here. If I said 3 equals 3. If I added 2 to one side of the equation, this would give me 5 equals 3. This is wrong, because I didn't add 2 to this side. Uh, when you have an equation, you have to do the exact same thing to both sides at the same time. You cannot ignore one side because that would give you a wrong answer. You, you're basically altering the question if you do that. So, um, yeah, that's why we change something to both sides of the equation. And yeah, now we can just add and subtract, which is pretty simple. So we would have 3x, this goes, this goes away, plus 2 minus 2 is 0, is equal to 7 minus 2, which is 5. So right now we have 3x equals 5. Okay, one more step to go. Uh, so we have 3x equals 5, like I said. Uh, what we can do to get rid of this 3 is divide both sides by 3. Uh, once again, you might ask, how did I figure that out? First, it's multiplication, and the opposite operation of multiplication is division. So divide, both, divide this side by 3, and then since we have to do the exact same thing to both sides of the equation, divide this side by 3 as well. And then you would get that x... So 3 divided by 3 is 1, so x is equal to 5 divided by 3, and that should be your answer. And one more thing, we know that this is the right stop point or checkpoint uh, because we have x equals something. Uh, if we had something else, like if we had, I don't know, 16x equals something, this is not where we should stop because we still do not know what x is. In this case, we know what x is because it is equal to something. And we are trying to find out what that something is. Um, so yeah, hope that makes sense. Uh, let's move on to a few more examples. Okay, so we got two more examples here. Uh, first one says 2x plus 4 equals 6. So once again, I'm going to write uh, bed mass up here. And we have to remember to work from right to left in the opposite direction of what we're used to. Um, so first, you get rid of the addition because addition comes before multiplication and we have both operations here so yeah get rid of addition first if you have a plus four uh, the way you get rid of that is subtract four once again just do the exact opposite with the exact same number so minus four but since we're doing the exact same thing on both sides of the equation subtract four here as well so we would get 2x because the four goes away four plus four minus four is zero and then six minus four is two and then one last step, so we have multiplication now. The way you get rid of multiplying by 2 is to divide by 2, because that logically makes sense. If you multiply something by 2 and then divide it by 2, you get what that something is. Um, so yeah, divide both sides by 2 once again, because we're doing the same thing to both sides of the equation. And then 2 divided by 2 is x, or just like 1x, which is x. Uh, and then 2 divided by 2 is 1 as well. So we get that x is equal to 1. Uh, next example, 7x minus 2 equals 10. So once again, 
you'd get rid of subtraction first because this time I'm gonna do it in red subtraction comes before multiplication so you get rid of subtraction first how do you do that if it's a subtraction of 2 you add 2 and to both sides once again uh, so you get 7x is equal to this goes away by the way but yeah 7x is equal to 10 plus 2 which is 12 and then after that one last step uh, divide both sides by 7 to get rid of the multiplication and we get that x is equal to 12 divided by 7 and we are done and it is super easy to check any of these answers uh, because this is algebra if we found what x is the easiest way to check if it's right or wrong is to plug it back in the original equation so i'm just going to erase a couple of these steps but yeah so we got x equals one let's put it here and see if that gives us the right answer so our question was 2x plus 4 equals 6 and we got that x equals 1 so 2 times 1 plus 4 equals 2 plus 4 which equals 6 which is the exact same as the right side of the equation uh, and then since the left side is equal to the right side uh, we know that this equation is correct hence this is the correct answer for the question uh, yeah, hopefully that makes sense and yeah that's it